welcome to Recipes Galore. Today I am celebrating, so I am making one of my favorites, banana pudding. So let me get started and tell you what we're gonna need. You're gonna need about six or seven bananas, and you're going to need some cornstarch. You're going to need an let me make sure. Eight ounce container of Cool Whip. Three egg yolks. You're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk. And you can't make a banana pudding without some vanilla wafers. It doesn't matter what vanilla wafers you get, get your favorite vanilla wafers. And some vanilla. I'm going to use my Banana, my vanilla beans instead of my vanilla. So, we're gonna get started. Let me rinse this off. I always rinse my lids off my containers. Let me grab a fork so I can mix this smoothly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty this whole can of sweetened condensed milk. So, I'm gonna empty this into a pot on my stove. You notice I have a big pot and not a small pot because I'm going, after I mix this, pour this in here, I got some other things I need to add to this. So I need a big enough pot where I can hold it all. Now, I'm going to pour my egg yolks into my pan. Get all that out of there. And I'm going to add one to two tablespoons of cornstarch to my pan. So there's one and two. Now, the reason I add the cornstarch is so that it will thicken up quicker. You don't have to add cornstarch, but then you'll be sitting at the stove stirring and stirring and stirring. You're going to need milk now i'm going to let you see what i have in my i'm going to stir this up and it gets all thick but it gets all that from around the sides and i stir this up first in here the so that i won't get chunks of uh cornstarch lumped up into my mixture in my in my pot once I stir this up, I'm going to fill it with milk. I'm going to fill it to the top, well, almost to the top with milk, and gently stir that up. I want you to see what's going on in my, in my cup. I'm going to, I think I'm all stirred up. Now I'm going to pour this into my pot. There we go. Now I'm going to take my wire whisk and I'm going to stir this up. And I like to get my sweetened condensed milk and the, the, uh, the cornstarch and egg and milk mixed up in my pot. Now I'm going to turn it on. And we're going to, uh, I, I like to put it on medium high because I continue to stir it as I go. We are stirring our pot as we wait on our sweetened condensed milk. I almost said it's going to bring up again. We're waiting on our sweetened condensed milk and our egg yolk and our cornstarch to thicken up. And while that's thickening up, I'm gonna take my vanilla beans, take a couple, couple, three of them, and I'm gonna squeeze my vanilla beans into my pot. Continuously stir your pot 
You don't want it to stick to the bottom. You want it to thicken up, but you don't want it to stick to the bottom. And if you don't stir, it will stick. All right, it's thickening up. Take it off of the stove. I think I have the desired thickness that I want. Yes. It's pudding, y'all. See, show y'all what I have in my pot. Nice, delicious pudding. Now, I'm gonna sit here let it sit here and cool for a minute before I add the cool whip to it. Next thing we're gonna do while we're waiting on the bananas to, uh, uh, while we're waiting on that to cool off, is we're going to cut up our bananas. Now, some people do this in layers. I don't like mine in layers. So I just cut up my bananas into my bowl. You can use a slicer, you can use your knife. I just find it's just quicker for me to just use my knife than use my slicer, because sometimes it gets a little mushy. Now the trick to a good banana pudding is you don't want the bananas too ripe. Because if it lasts more than a day, it will, the bananas will start to ripen on their own. And you don't want them too ripe because then you get a, a sour banana pudding. I don't like a sour banana pudding. If y'all can find some vanilla, uh, some Jackson, the Jackson brand of vanilla wafers, man, when I tell you it will light up your banana pudding, our pudding is cooling off over here. We're almost done. I'm gonna show you all my bowl in a minute. As soon as I get this banana. Those are my bananas in my bowl. Let me move back because my light keeps adjusting. So, now, my pudding is thickened. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of milk to a cup of milk to that. Most of my cooking is by hands-on, by sight. So I start out with a little, and if I need more, I'll add more. But right now, I'm adding a half a cup of milk to my pudding mix. And I'm gonna stir it up. There we go. Half a cup did it. It's got a nice consistency. It's pourable. It's all puddingy, if that's a word. Let's see, it's a nice consistency. And once I add the uh, the cool whip to it. It will be perfect. Now we're going to add our Cool Whip. Okay. And now we have nice whipped creamy Cool Whip. Now, I'm gonna add the whole box of cookies to my bowl. Add that to it. And now, I'm just gonna pour all of this in here. And you will notice that I didn't use any sugar. The sweetened condensed milk has enough sugar and the Cool Whip has enough sugar and the Vanilla wafers have enough sugar, and the bananas are sweet. So you don't need any extra sugar in this recipe. Now, what I'm going to do, 
and stir it all up. I'll let you all see what I have in my pot. I should say in my bowl. Now, I have two bowls here that I'm going to use. One that I'm going to give away to my friend and one that I'm going to keep at home. So, I'm just going to dip this off in here. Just putting some So I'm going to grab bowl. And there we go. Now, to make it all look all pretty and fancy and everything, I'm going to spread this out. And I'm going to take my second box. And this All right, so I'm gonna start from the outside and I'm gonna go around in a circle and garnish my little banana pudding. Okay, it's going to, I'm gonna leave that one just like it is, turn it over. And now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. But we are pretty much done in the banana pudding department. And it was quick, it's simple, it's easy, but most importantly, it's so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I promise you it is. So this completes our banana pudding recipe today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, actively participating. You can find this recipe and other yummy recipes on my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash ask the nanny. I'll see you all next week. I'll be back on Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Uh, to cook another recipe with you. Be sure you go to YouTube. Be sure you subscribe. Thank you.